This is the continuance of uh, the last video about spooling up a 10 pound, 27 inch in diameter spool of wire onto just this little thing here that's only 16 inches by, I don't know, 30 inches, whatever. Anyway. It consolidates a lot of wire in such a little space. You can easily dye this. Um, you got to get rid of that oil. You can easily boil it when it's like this. I don't know how y'all get your wire. Probably in them little one pound, two pound spools. Eh. This is so much easier. You know, if you need 18 inches, just peel your off. There you go. Clip it. You're off to the next run. You don't have to sit there and go, eh, 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 eh. No, you don't have to do that. Not with this. There's another way of dealing with your 9 gauge wire for coyote snaring or restraints. Here in Ohio, we got to have restraints. We can't do uh, anything that's going to inhibit that coyote from wrapping around something. Basically, we have to have an open area of anything bigger or actually smaller than your pinky um, to snare in cable restraints can't wrap them up in trees or fences or anything like that. There's another way to do that. Right here. Okay. I take 30 inches from here all the way into here. I take 30 inches of that 9 gauge wire. I straighten it out. And I store them in a, a, a four inch piece of PVC pipe. Just drop them down in there. You can pull them out as you need them. Then I take a 10 inch piece of rebar and I kind of put a, just a little bit of a point on the end of that. I grind it just a little bit. But you weld that nine inch or nine gauge wire to that three eighths inch rebar. I don't know. Probably not. It, it's, it sucks because you're adding weight to whatever it is that you're doing. But you drive this into the ground on a trail or whatever. Um, if you've got a, a, a trail to where the coyotes are running up and down, and you, you, see, you see the sign, you see the coyote tracks. Going up and down, up and down, up and down. But it's pretty much an open ground, but you got just a little bit of weeds sticking up and no trees, no nothing. Just a little bit of weeds. This is perfect. Right here. Right here. Take that 30 inches of 9 gauge wire, okay, on a 10 inch piece of 3 eighths rebar. Just 10 inches. You could probably go shorter if uh, you have more dense soil. But once you catch a coyote in this, you can reuse it. Okay? Because coyote's going to rip it, uh, the restraint off of it, or a snare, wherever y'all are at. Here in Ohio, we have to have restraints. Okay? Once that coyote gets caught and pulls out of this, he's going somewhere else. He's going to the other end of the, the restraint. There's no limit to how long that restraint can be. You can put him on a 15-foot restraint or a 2-foot restraint. Doesn't matter. Just as long as he is not able to tangle up into whatever. Okay? But anyway, you take that 10-inch piece of rebar with a 30 inch piece of 9 gauge wire 
weld that nine inch or nine gauge, I'm sorry, uh, nine gauge wire to that rebar. Weld that nine gauge wire to three eighths rebar. Ten inches long. You drive, take this and go like this. Okay? Drive that right into the ground. Take your hammer and go bap, 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 pound that into the ground. Okay? Once that's into the ground, you can pull this up to do whatever you want to do with it. And make that, you can put this thing almost two feet out away from whatever as long as you get it on that treble you can hide this and hide the wire through all kinds of stuff uh, you can get quite a distance away and attach your snare to the end of that with your whammy okay there's so many different ways to attach your whammy to here, whether it be a piece of uh, like oxygen tubing, uh, polyurethane tubing, uh, coiled steel, coiled metal, like a spring type thing for a whammy, anything to attach your snare to that. Another way that I do, this is what I like to do. I'll grab my uh, cable uh, pliers or uh, cutters. Do this on site. Don't do it previous. And I'll take and I'll corkscrew that. Okay? And once I corkscrew that, I'll run my snare from my anchor point, wherever it may be. Doesn't matter where it is. You do not anchor your snare or cable restraint to this. Run your cable restraint up to this. And all you got to do is take that cable and wrap it around here a couple of times, and it's going to hang off of that right there. And it only took me a couple of seconds just to <clears throat> twist that up. All right? Got like a corkscrew type thing, okay? But if you don't like it, go a little more. It's going to hold it even better. Doesn't matter. Whatever. Anything to hold that cable restraint or snare up there and make yourself a loop, then you're going to get it. I got... No, I don't. I took care of all my snares. They're already put away for tomorrow. Anyway, you hang your, your cable restraint off of that and just kind of loop that cable around. You can bend this thing however you want. you got 30 inches to play with, okay? Now, if you're out in, like, open ground that's just got a few weeds or whatever, and you see coyote sign. You see those coyote tracks running right through cornfields, soybean fields, whatever. You can snare them in that open ground. You do not have to be in the woods, on a trail. If you see a set of coyote tracks running down just a little bit of a bean field, a little bit of a, uh, a cornfield that's already been cut and it's gone. It's been gone for a while. You already caught coon and everything out of coon or somewhere else. Anyway, and you want to go after coyotes. If you see a coyote tracks running through those cornfields, those soybean fields, anything like that, but there's no cover. There's no real... Yeah. Right here. Just take that wire and hang a loop. You may have to camouflage it just a little bit with a corn stalk or a bean stalk. Just one. 
one little freaking bean stalk. You don't have to brush it all in over here and brush it all in over here and try to fill them in there. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just take like one little one little bean stalk and come up. Kind of wrap that little bean stalk up. If you have to, shape this to where you can move it around there and wrap that bean stalk around that. And it only, t it only takes 10 inches. You can, you can actually do less if you're in uh, harder soil. Here in Ohio, we got uh, a lot of clay. This 10 inch here, I'm overkill. I, I, I could probably get away with a four inch piece of this. That's all it's to do is hold your snare or hold your cable restraint. You take your cable restraint to come off of here, back either way, whatever direction you want to go, and then you anchor that to a wolf fang. I've got some uh, cable extensions that are five and six feet long. So once I catch a coyote in here, he's already caught in a 30 inch cable here and a 72 inch extension. So he's sitting there just going around and around. He ain't going nowhere, okay? Just a little bit of a tip. Just depends on your soil. 10 inches max. You know, if, if it's frozen ground, my gosh, go with three, four inches of this. That's all this is to do is to hold that wire, that nine gauge wire to support your cable restraint or your snare. That's all it's for. You don't have to have a whole bunch of trees sitting around. Um, that's what that's what this is for. If I'm in a bunch of wooded area and I got deer trails going around, and I got coyote tracks on it, whatever, I'll take this here and I'll unravel that however much I need. Whether I got a two inch tree I gotta go around or a six inch tree I gotta go around to hold up my snare. Okay? You follow me? It's really, really easy, guys. Um, once I get going here, again, I'm getting a pretty late start trapping this year. A lot of dilemmas, a lot of things going on. But anyway, I'm definitely not going to reach my goal this year, but I'll be here next year. I've been here for 50 years. Hunting, fishing, and trapping. 99.9% .9 trapping. Okay? Poor boy trapper. Love y'all.